back to the shop. <coughs> a couple of days ago I've been asked if I want to dispose this um, Eaton Evolution 850 UPS. Apparently it's faulty, that's what I've been told. Um, so I agreed thankfully and paid nothing. So at least worth looking inside what's going on. I know a little bit about the history, it's about three years old. And so it's quite possible the batteries are flat. Uh, it was in daily use, it's quite dirty. So let's power it up and see what it does. a lot of noise, blinking, uh, it's reporting low battery, it's producing output but it says low battery, so first we're gonna check the fuse, apparently there is a difference if I pull the plug so it has power, um, maybe just the batteries don't charge, it's producing something. Generally with UPS systems they need to be handled with extreme care because they could have a fair amount of voltage inside even if they off. Oh, this is Pretty dirty inside. I don't know what they did with it. Maybe it was just overloaded. But apparently, if I. If I put the power back in, it does something. So. Maybe I need to connect the software. I've got some software for it, so it may tell you. It may tell me what's wrong with it. Yeah, I think what it says is the battery pack does not charge. Again, do, don't do this at home because it's lethal water just inside. Now I've put No output. Okay, so we need to figure out what's going wrong here. I have no drawings. I have no um, further information than some data sheets, and uh, but we'll find out what's going wrong here. First, we're going to check the battery pack.
the main connector for the battery pack. We got 26 volts, so the battery is full. Well, at least charged. So that's not the issue. So we may suffer from a fuse somewhere. Apparently. It's not just a simple fuse, so I need to dig a, bit, a little bit deeper and watch out for some fuses or burn components here. Yeah. I know the side where it was has some power failures every, every now and then or brownouts, so it could well be that one of the relays are burned out. Let's see if the fuses here are alive. Yeah, so the battery fuse, which is this one, there are soldered car fuses here. That looks alright. I think we're going to install the software and have a quick look. What it tells us here. It's probably the easiest way to go. There's nothing obvious. The strange thing is there is... I can't see a fuse here. But this is weird. The main incomer has no fuse. Oh. Bit unusual actually. At least I can't see one. Maybe there is uh, some poly fuse somewhere. Just a bunch of varistas here. But no obvious fuse. Okay, let's get the software up and running and uh, then maybe it tells us what's wrong with it. So it's at least talking to me and we can see the battery is charging. At the moment we've got 2 minutes 16 uh, seconds battery life left. Uh, it says Mains present, 3% battery level, and we have output voltage. That's what we can see here. So, we either have a relatively weak battery, or this is 48 volts. That's possible. If this is a 48 volt battery, 22 volts is obviously too low, or 26 volts, or whatever it had, is obviously too low. So what they probably did was just let it discharge, for whatever reason. Uh, I think I'd let it charge for a while, because it seems the charge level is increasing. It just did it again, it's, it's now at 4%. I think when it reaches 50%, 15%, just what I what I remember, uh, it stops beeping. So I leave it running for a while, uh, and maybe it's not faulty. It was just empty battery. It looks like four batteries, so it may be 48 volts. In a few minutes, we'll see. Check the voltage, and if it's going well above 26 volts, we know it's more than. Um, 24 volts. I, I always was thinking it's 24 volts, but it maybe not. It doesn't tell me a fault except the battery fault when I had it disconnected here. And 
it also has an overload fault in memory which means someone may have just overloaded it and then it switched itself off and whatever you don't know the history it's been diagnosed by people who not electricians um, so so we may have got a bargain here why well, it's a bargain anyway because it was free we will be back in a few minutes to see what the voltage does well we confirmed the battery is weak I've charged it for about 15 minutes or so and uh, it it only lasted for a few seconds and then it went on uh, low battery again so we're gonna take this battery out here So yeah, we check the battery voltage and it, it immediately goes down to 17 volts as soon as uh, there is some load on it. So we have either one or more. That battery is here. Let's see what we get here. Charge voltage was about 27 volts. So most likely it's a 24 volt system which would become handy because my wind turbine runs on 24 volts as well so we don't need to buy new batteries for this one we just use it from the big batteries of the wind turbine So it's 6 volt batteries here, so 4 times 6 is 24, so we just have a bunch of weak batteries. That means that thing should run fine with 24 volt power supply. We could confirm that if we just feed 24 volts in and see. Let's check if there is just one cell down or if all of them are bad. Six six point six six point six I can't get there here. Yeah. Six point six so they they could all they all got the same charge state maybe they're just lazy and they need a few cycles and then they're good again we'll probably give it a try to reform those sometimes it works with these scale batteries um, but anyway it's not really necessary because I would use it with an external battery anyway um, it's got a good size, it's 850 watts or 850 VA. They, they're quite good units actually, and if they're made in China. If it comes up with battery okay at at 24 volts on, on the load, uh, we're happy with that. And that's probably something for the... Looks weird. 
they almost look there's some gunk here maybe they, they've been cooked so they've been overcharged eventually that's what it looks like let's hook up some power here and see what it does well we hooked up an external power source and it appears there is still a problem it says it still says low battery or battery fault even we have 26 volts and 240 volts output uh, power comes from here Good old you just pack it. It was about one amp. Um no, it was shutting down. So it comes to life when I switch it on, but I suspect that the battery voltage monitoring system has a problem because I'm on 26 volt that is a pretty well charged battery and I I have no battery level at all so if you crank that up a little bit further so that's a pretty full battery now and it still says battery capacity is zero so there I'm pretty sure there is some circuitry which um, just the battery voltage monitoring and it appears there's something dead in that area so we're gonna take the board out <laughs> the air intake is here and it's been in an area where it's pretty high carbon content in the air and the fan is actually sucking the air through the system so we may have some issues at the bottom of the PC board um, I'd like to get it fixed because it's a, it's a nice size and uh, it doesn't take a lot of space so that's going to be a project for another time uh, I don't have to nurse for it at the moment got too many other things going I put it on the shelf and come back to it at a later time that's it from the UPS at the moment <laughs> 